All right, this video is for Wang Genie on Reddit and anybody else who can't get a quick disconnect off. Um, Vico from Vico Mods, and this is a quick and dirty video on how to do quick disconnects the right way and the easy way. So here I have a Samwa button and a Razer Atrox uh, button harness. It's exactly the same as the TE2, TE2 Plus, and TES Plus, where it has a little tab to hold the button in place on the prong, or to hold the QD in place on the prong. So the right way to do it is to use your thumb in between the two metal, it's in a little groove right there, to just use your thumb, press, and pull. comes off very easy. You don't want to pull from the wire, because that's going to pull the wire out of the crimp. And if you do this, okay, well this one's really loose, because this is somebody's used stick. Uh, if you pull on this really hard, you're probably going to break the crimp off. Let me find one that's a little bit harder. Probably not going to happen, because these are really old. Really? Anyway, so if you try to pull, it's not going to happen. You can pull super hard, but you're probably going to break something or hurt yourself, especially if you're working on the inside of the stick. So you don't see what I'm doing there's a little tab here in the little groove I'm try to get that can't really see it's a little blurry but there's a little groove there's a little tab there in the groove you can see it uh, just see it when you take the plastic off that's what you're pressing down so it doesn't require a lot of strength just press it down and pull and if it's bent because you messed it up then you might have to go to method number two or you can use a screwdriver to press it down while you while you pull there you go see so that's method number one and 1.5 I guess if you need to use a screwdriver method number two is a lot easier and what most of you will probably do I do it just because it's a lot faster for me uh, here I have a set of wire uh, wire strippers I'm not using any of the sharp parts, the stripping parts. What I'm going to use is the end right here where it has a little grip. So just grab in that little same groove right there. You don't want to grab the wire. You don't want to grab here because that's where we're trying to loosen up. So just grab in the groove, put some strength, and pull. You might have to wiggle it. So, okay, that one came off easier. Uh, if you don't have wire strippers, just get any pair of pliers. can be needle nose, can be a little bit bigger, here's some angled uh, pliers. Just grab in between, pull. Grab in between, pull. See, that one held on a little bit. We're going to use this one just because it has more grip to it. Put that back on. Here's some needle nose. Same thing. Just put it, what the hell? Okay, just put it in there. Grab, pull. All right, well, I think I loosened it up a lot. Anyway, that's that's the gist of it. Just get a tool, use a little el little bit of elbow grease, and pull it out. And try another one. Might be a little stronger. Let's try this blue. Okay, so see, this is holding on pretty good. I'm gonna use. Uh, I don't even know what kind of ply here. These are. I don't know what these are called. These are crescent little pliers. I don't know what the special name is for this is, but just put it in the groove and pull. There you go. If you're not strong enough to do it, go get your dad, your brother, your friend, or your mom or somebody and get it, get them to do it for you because it's not that difficult. Um, anyway, happy modding.